you want to be a math whiz? Do you want to be an expert in solving math problems? If your answer is yes, come and join me. Let us learn and have fun with Merlin's Singapore Math Adventures here at MSA Institute's YouTube channel. So hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more learnings. Let's go! Merlin Singapore Math and what does it do? The Merlin Singapore Math is the local version of the Singapore approach to teaching and learning mathematics. With this approach, there is a build-up in conceptual understanding and in numerical fluency, with the end goal of developing and improving the critical thinking as well as the problem-solving skills of every learner. So let us see how the visual approach to problem-solving works with the Merlin Singapore map. We're going to use some examples, and let's start off with our challenge number one. Lark has four stickers. So you have there Lark with four colorful stickers while Angelo, his friend, has three stickers. What you can see here is stage one, where we utilize the concrete stage of the CPA approach. In your classes, you will be using manipulatives, blocks, or printed materials. But in this video, I'm going to represent this using colorful stickers for our challenge number one. Now we go to the second stage, which is pictorial. For pictorial, we are going to do model drawing. We will now represent the stickers using blocks. So since Lark has four stickers, we will be drawing their four blocks. And then for Angelo, we have three green blocks representing his three stickers. Now, going to the last stage, which is abstract, we are going to use numbers to represent the values for the stickers that Lark and Angelo have. So, we're going to write there four and three. With this visual approach, it will be easier for the kids to understand the problem to be solved and it will really be easy for them to solve this problem. Now let's proceed with the solution. So again, Lark has four stickers while Angelo has three. And our challenge is for us to find out how many stickers do they have all together. So let's use our CPA approach for us to be able to solve. So again, we have our Lark here with four stickers. We represented it with four blocks earlier. So we have one, two, three, and four. And we represented it with the number four. And for Angelo, we know that he has three stickers. So what do you think? How many blocks are we going to draw here? That is right. We are going to draw three blocks. We change the color so that we would know that the green one belongs to, that's right, Angelo. And what kind of blocks did we use to represent that of Lark? What color? All right, we used red. Now going back to Angelo, we have three colorful stickers three green blocks, and now we're going to use numbers to represent the value. And we're going to write three. Now for us to know the number of stickers that they have together, 
we are going to add. And look at that. We have four red blocks and three green blocks. And all together, when we add, we will have seven stickers. So the solution is very easy. And our answer is seven stickers for Lark and Angela. So it's so easy for us to solve this problem using the visual approach. Let's now go to challenge number two. This is another addition story. Jap and Koi have five apples each. So we have here Jap with her apples and we have Koi also with five apples. So do you eat apples? We have red apples and we also have sweet green apples. All right. So for the CPA approach, this is stage one, which is concrete. And the second stage would be model drawing. So we will be drawing five blocks for Japs apples and another, that's right, five blocks for Koi. And we will now go to abstract stage where we will be using, correct, you're learning fast, numbers. Okay, so let's write there five and five. So we are now complete with the three stages. We were able to understand the given in the problem. Now, the question is, what is the challenge? What are we tasked to do? We need to know how many apples do they have all together. And for our solution, we know that Jap have five, has five apples plus five apples of Koi and all together, they have a total of 10 apples. So it is so easy to use the visual approach of Merlin Singapore math in solving challenge problems. Are you ready for our next challenge? I know it's getting easier for you. So, challenge number three. Lucas and Antonio, these two cute little boys, have 10 toy cars. Do you like playing with toy cars too? Oh, okay. So I want you to count with me. Let's count how many toy cars do they have? Do they really have 10? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 toy cars. And what do you think is the challenge? If Antonio has four toy cars, how many toy cars does Lucas have? Hmm. We need to know how many toy cars is Lucas playing with at home? Let's see. This is easy. I know we can answer it so quick. For our solution, we know that we have 10 toy cars for the for the two boys. And we're going to, that's right, do model drawing. So we have here 10 yellow blocks representing the four toy cars. There you go. And we know that Antonio has four toy cars. Which means that out of these 10 toy cars, four belong to Antonio. And that is our four blue blocks. Now, we will be, yes, we will be solving for the number of toy cars for Lucas. So we have here 10 toy cars. And then four for Lucas. 
which means that's right the remaining toy cars you have there your orange blocks belong to antonio and yes now you know that this is a subtraction story for us to know the answer we need to subtract four from ten which will give us i can't see you smiling there you are right the answer is six toy cars in today's video we were able to discover how amazingly easy the Merlin Singapore math approach is. It just uses the three stages. The first one will be the concrete, where we utilize manipulatives. The second stage is the pictorial, where we do model drawings. And the third stage, abstract, where we already use numbers to represent the values. So it's really easy. It's easy to understand. And for more Merlin Singapore math adventures, I'm inviting all of you to like the YouTube channel of MSA Institute, subscribe, and of course, hit the notification bell for more adventures. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!